morning, GHS, and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Monday, October 30th, and I'm Justina Musa. The first charges are expected today in the probe into Russia interference in the election. According to the NBC News, special report Robert Mueller plans to release the first round of names of people suspected in this case. The political community has speculated about the identities of those who will be charged, but we'll have to wait and see for sure. GHS has become the go-to Halloween location on Saturday night as Trick or Treat Street enjoyed the 13th annual evening of fun games and costumes for the little ones. Don't forget tomorrow is Halloween and the day of judgment for the door decorating contest and the food drive runs all this week. Bring those non-perishables to the homeroom and help support your local families in need. Earlier Saturday, 13th, 4th, 4th, and 5th graders came to GHS to audition for roles in The Music Man. The show calls for a big assemble of townspeople and those young ones brought their A-game. If you're interested in auditioning for the musical, see Mr. Maycock or Miss Feeney today. With Halloween only hours away, you may be in this market for something scary. Here's Ethan Skelly with the top three scary movies. Happy almost Halloween, GHS. Now I love Halloween and there's nothing better than the feeling of watching a horror movie on Halloween. Although I don't particularly like horror movies, I do have my favorites. Here's my top three. At number three I have Psycho, perhaps one of the most iconic and influential horror movies of all time. Hitchcock is at its best here. The movie follows Janet Lee playing Marion Crane, a secretary who steals $40,000 cash and runs away to meet with her boyfriend. She becomes tired and stops at a motel. Bates Motel. She is met by the owner, Norman Bates, played oh so creepily by Anthony Perkins. Lee's death in this movie is perhaps one of the most iconic moments in horror history, happening only 20 minutes into the film. Here's part of it. At number two, I have the 1978 film Halloween. This movie is one of the very first modern horror movies. This and Chainsaw Massacre would popularize such tropes as the mass killer, the chase scene from the mass killer as the climax, teens getting murdered, and so on. This movie has Michael Myers as the main antagonist, a deranged murderer who kills the babysitters of the small town Haydenfield. One of the babysitters in this town happens to be a young Jamie Lee Curtis, making her silver screen debut. And by the way, she's Janet Lee's daughter, connecting these movies in a very unique way. Veteran actor Donald Pleasance is in this film as well, as a doctor who makes it his mission to stop Myers. And his character, Loomis, is named after Janet Lee's boyfriend in Psycho. Small world, isn't it? And my number one horror movie is to be revealed next episode tomorrow. See you then. all for the GHS reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcements. I'm Justina Musa. Today's an A-Day. Have a great day.